I have been scrambling and I have managed to find enough vanilla immortality jewels to put together this thing here. An immortal Paxel to go with my new brick hammer. I've actually purposely not put any mining speed on this because this is going to become my main sort of work tool, I suppose, in the overworld. And too much mining speed can sometimes be a little bit annoying when building. Now, I do have one problem here, and that is that my out of vault tools and my in vault tools look very similar. In fact, they look exactly the same. This one doesn't yet, but I'm planning on getting axing on it, and at that point, it's going to become a shatterer. And yeah, they're all going to look the same. So, I have an idea. How about I use a cyan rune and color my vanilla tools like this? That's. That <laughs> looks so weird. I kind of like it, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> it looks like mega diamond tools. Let's put it to the test. I need to turn all of this concrete into hard concrete because today, today Pacific grows. Oh, wait. That, that jungle block is not going to do much. <laughs> it's fine. Well, it works. It's fast enough and it's definitely not breaking. Less than three minutes. Less than three minutes it took me to turn eight stacks of concrete powder into concrete. I like it! This is a great Paxel. Hmm. I wonder if eight stacks is going to be enough to cover this uh, floor. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be if I chose to block the whole thing up. But I think I do want to continue with some sort of hole in the middle. Aha! <laughs> I at least think that's square. Yeah, it should be. I had to recount this like six times. I don't know <laughs> what happened with my brain. But that is... Yeah, that's looking good. So it's slightly smaller than that hole. And that gives me a lot of space up here. Putting that ceiling on it makes it feel very cozy, actually. I like it! Now time to add another Pacific layer. And this one is, once again, it's just gonna have the the uh, alternating shape. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that's correct. Placing down the first few blocks is surprisingly confusing for my brain. But I'm really sure this is correct. Otherwise I can always redo it. Things are going great. I am almost done. I have one more wall to do. And while it's a party in the back, look at this. Pacific no longer looks like a monocolored weird Rubrics cube. Oh, it's good. It's really good. I love it. Now before I do anything else though, before I add the last party wall, there is one thing that I want to do and is going to become more important the more of the base I build. And that is to spend one of my many knowledge stars. Mm. Knowledge on the Torchmaster. Oh. Uh, I, I mean to spend <clears throat> to spend two of my many <laughs> knowledge stars. <laughs> mm, more knowledge on the Torchmaster. This gives me access to mega torches. And I get a cool transmog where I can turn myself into a torch. That is a mega torch. Look at it. It's absolutely mega. These are great because what they do is that they block mob spawns in... A radius of 64 blocks and I think I think unlimited space upwards I'm not entirely sure about that though but what I'm thinking of doing is right around the center somewhere here I want to just plunk this down hide it underneath the floor and now mobs hello <laughs> mobs like you should no longer be able to spawn in my base and I, I can't tell you the amount of times off camera I've had creepers sneak up on me, both in that room there and below. And it's just the most frustrating thing ever, isn't it? It's the most frustrating thing. They sneak up on you, they blow up what you made. And yeah, you could say, you know, light up the, your area, Skull. Make it bright everywhere. But I, I like playing around with brightness. I think it's cozy when it's not completely bright. Like this. This is looking very cute. And while I'm at it with knowledge, maybe I should spend those five unspent skill points as well. And I think I'm going to take one level in speed. That costs four, but speed is great. Movement speed is fantastic. And one level feels... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love that little movement speed increase. And then I'll max strength. Four levels of strength. Perfect. 
As for my expertise point, I think I'll go Marketer. Marketer allows me to re-roll the offers in the black market with this button here. Anyway, back to finishing this party. And done. Pacific has become taller all the way around. Now that I have three active floors, I think it's actually time. Time to spend another knowledge star and this time... Mm, more knowledge. This time on elevators. Anyone who's been watching any of my other Vault Hunter playthroughs or modded series in general, you know how much I love this mod. Elevator. Now don't get me wrong, they're a little bit pricey, but I'm a little bit rich. Let's make 16. <laughs> for no specific reason other than flexing, I suppose. Okay, so elevators will take me up and down, and I just need one of these per spot. That one goes there, and then if I go downstairs, one would go here. Yep, perfect. So now I can go from the lobby to my storage floor, and then... Is this the correct position? No, they need to be directly above, so that one goes there. Wait. Oh no. Wait, why is this uh, different here? Oh, I know why. It's because I don't have a floor yet where I have this layout because that floor is... Yeah, that floor is that, that floor there, which I don't use. Okay, so all is good. And I can now get all the way up without flying. Oh, actually, you know what? This needs to be one block up because I'm supposed to have a floor here as well, not just live on the ceiling. Brilliant! Next thing, I did forget completely in the last episode to take down the diamond pile. These diamonds were actually collected inside the vault in diamond rooms during my plundering. And that's a lot of diamonds. But now I can take all of this down and take my little beautiful skull of Mr. Plunderbees down or Sir Plunderbees down. Hmm. I want to install a floor up here and I want the floor to be this block here. Wooden boards. This stuff is made out of wooden planks, which are made up from the wood chunks that you find inside the vault. And that's all great, but the problem is this area is 27 by 27, which is 729, minus this hole, which is 7 by 7, 49, is 680. 680 of these blocks. And since each of them cost four wooden chunks, that means that I need... 2,700 of these, and I have 1,400. I've already placed some down, so, I mean, logically, I, I probably need around 1,000, 1,100 maybe, to fill this entire floor, and, you know, I could I could just go with another one, I could just go with oak, but uh, I, I, really, I really want, I really like this color. This color is great. So, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to run a super quick vault. I'm just gonna try and loot as many wooden chests as possible, ignore everything else in the vault, and see if I can get the 1100 wood chunks. I'm, I'm gonna have to loot a lot of wooden chests. I'm gonna have to like do nothing else and just absolutely mega focus. First things first though, apparently I need pumpkins and I have five, five pumpkins. I have to do some growing. And actually, I'm gonna be smart about this. I am going to reset my farmer spec by drinking this here choice flask and select the cultivator, which grows pumpkins very fast. And people say that farmer is not a good ability. Pfft, it's great. <laughs> just they just don't know how to use it. Plunderer's Pearl. And I'm not only doing this to get no experience, I'm also doing this to get the extra loot boon bonus of 10%. Oh, and this is gonna be exciting. First time I get to try out my new set of tools. Now I used to store wooden chunks in this pouch, my void pouch, but I have made a change and I'm now storing wooden chunks in here instead so that I don't void and delete them. That would be that would be very counterproductive. Let's get a good night's sleep in before we go. Oh man, I really I really gotta move this vault okay. portal. Oh well, I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna jump in. Stop shooting me! I'm vaulting. Let's see if I can get one. Th <gasps> oh, and then I get a void vault. The rarest theme in the game. <laughs> this theme is not only quite difficult. This black stuff fast forwards the time if I fall into it. It's not only difficult, 
It's um, it's also the one theme that has the highest density of echo gems in the entire game, and it's a scab. It would be so good to complete this to get the to get the the, the, the augment or potentially get the augment. Oh dear. Okay, they hurt. They hurt a lot. It's gonna be challenging, specifically seeing how I really would love to try and get just wooden chests. To be fair, though, the ripped pages that I need 12 of. They come from wooden chest, which is good. See some ornate chests down there. Must be a secret. Oh, a mega secret. Hello? Please be gentle with me. I can't see much because my treasure goggles are blocking my vision. Imagine if I could get super lucky here. Ah, oh, trap. Imagine if I could get super lucky here and just get the empty jars I need right off the bat. I got one. I got one. I'll take one. I'll take one. Ooh, trying out my new hammer. Oh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely great. What is that? A real twist in things. I must have picked something up from another mod, I think. Okay, these are why I'm here, though. Wooden chests galore. Oh, well, guys. Never mind me, I'm just here for some wooden chunks. Can't believe I got this theme. That's crazy. Oh, uh, big guys and baby. No! No, 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 no. Look at my timer. <laughs> it's just going. Stop. I hate babies. I really do. Oh, there are these guys here as well. I can't hit anything. Oh, that must have cost me like three minutes. Two minutes at least. Get out of here, warden imposters. Ah, stupid void liquid. <laughs> so bad. How am I doing? I got two of the crack script and one of the empty jars. I was hoping, because I've got quite a few coin piles of feels like it in this room. Oh, there are more up there. Okay. I was hoping to just get that completed so I can just focus on wooden chests. Another baby. Oh my goodness, they hurt so much. Look, they're double babies. Oh, that was a good javelin though. I just realized I still haven't really upgraded my gear, so it makes sense that things hurt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there, there are Shulkers here as well. <laughs> Team friendly Shulker, just got that guy floating. <laughs> Regeneration, I'll take that. I'm taking such hard hits here from these guys. Oof, this is scary. Oh, there's a bird. Those are, those are so hard to trap, and he's just got stuck there. I think he got hit by the Shulker, maybe. Shulkers really are friendly. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Is that? I think I need to switch to my chest plate. <laughs> it's it's way too hurtful in this ear vault. Oh dear. Freeze, please. Don't want to have to deal with you, <laughs> crawling champion. Why is it not freezing? I cued my sword! Oh, for goodness sake, Eskal! You played this game for so long, what are you doing? Oh, my blizzard froze with this thing and that guy. Oh, here we go. Yes. Ah, an epic helmet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Champion Enderman? Really? Uh, is this just death? <laughs> is that... Oh! Oh, yep, champion Enderman. I need better gear. Seriously, <laughs> that was, that's not good. Hello, Ghost Skull. You come with me, sir. What's the damage? 31 gold. That's okay. I still have a little bit, although I did spend most of it making my tools. Oof, that was that was a very stressful vault. <laughs> I I I definitely need to upgrade some. Look at this level 17, 17, 14. Yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not in a great shape when it comes to my defenses. I see if either of these an upgrade. I mean that's a it's an epic plus helmet, and my helmet's actually not that bad. <laughs> my helmet's probably my my best defensive piece. Here we go though. This is uh, probably a pretty big upgrade invest in them you've served me well with super super level 14 boots but i'm i'm a bigger boy now how many wooden chunks did i manage to get 246 that's a bit embarrassing isn't it we plunder once again time to redeem myself a thousand wood chunks please this time in an elixir lush vault 
Hold on, I know I know I'm here to mine wooden chests, but I just gotta try this out now that I found an ore room right off the bat. I gotta try out the new hammer. Here we go. Oh oh yes. That is great. I mean it's still still could use a lot more mining speed so that I can insta mine the ores, but that is such a good feeling. I love hammers. Alright, time to just race wooden chests. Which are also jackpots with elixir, so that's great. <laughs> elixir complete, but I am nowhere near what I, where I need to be with wooden chests. Out of time, 30 seconds remaining. I have no idea how I've done, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping I have the thousand. Ooh, I don't have kiwis out. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I got a little bit. I got a little bit. 256, where 203 of those were wooden. Let's have a look. Yes. 1,000, what is that? 1,104, I think. I guess let's just do this. I have 1,729. I'll just take this out and merge. And now I have 2,833. And according to my calculations, okay, I need 2,720. So that should, should be enough to fill the floor in. Ooh, that is a great jewel. And that is also a great jewel. And that is also a good jewel. Let's see what I got in the crate. No artifacts by the look of things. Another great jewel. In fact, that can go straight in here, get cut, and then be added to my hammer. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good enough for the hammer. Let's roll the gear up, as I am in desperate need of upgrades. <laughs> but none of these are super exciting. I mean, they're all they're all like tiny upgrades. But yeah, uh, I, I no. I right, now let's see if I have enough of these to lay down the floor. Here we go. This is looking very good. I have enough. Woohoo! That's very orange. Hmm. I don't know if I like that this color. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm gonna go with this color. I like it. I love it. I think it looks very warm, very cozy, and just slightly different from the floor below, which I think is important. I think we can all agree that my room is a little bit messy with <laughs> workstations and things and stuff everywhere. So, I'm going to build a workshop. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I want to utilize this floor, but I'm going to have one area for all of the gear-related blocks, which I think as these blocks here, the artisan station, the workbench, the forge, and the transmogrification table, which I crafted up. And then I want another area for my tool stuff, which would be the tool station, the jewel applicator, and the cutting station. This area should also probably have my jewel storage. And then this area here is where I should have the elevator shack, so I don't want to put too many things over there. I don't know if I want walls, or if I want like an open plan sort of thing. With only these two things, it might be a little bit empty here, but I think it's a good start. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit of a challenge to build things inside Pacific when all the walls are windows, but I made it work down here, didn't I? So yeah, I think I, think I can make this work too. <laughs> this hole. This hole is not centered. I'm going, I'm sitting here going mad. I'm like, why is this not working? 
It's because the hole is not centered, the skull. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> there we go. That should have done it. <laughs> that's, that's silly. That's really silly. I love to do those little plop edits. However, I realized that the angle that I started the plop section ed ed editing in wasn't the greatest. So, without further ado, this is my workshop. I got my blacksmithing area and my toolsmithing area. And then in the middle, Sir Scrapalot got an upgrade. I like this. I think this turned out really quite cool it's a little bit empty right over here i don't quite like this area but but i'll i'll see what i what i do with that as we go i find it really quite challenging to build things inside pacific which is maybe why me and mambo didn't really get to do that in the past but i think this works out so from the outside it looks like this just blocked off but i think that once i start like installing windows and different things in these boxes on the outside I don't think that matters, even now. Yeah, even now, I think that it's it's fine. It's fine to have a little bit of blocked cubes, I guess. This is Bum the, the Gilded Bumbo is in charge of all of my jewels that I've sorted out into these Schalke boxes. I love this Schalke Plus mod, it's, it's absolutely great. Now this actually took me quite a while to build and a few things happened on the server while I was building it. One of which was that I ran a couple of vaults with Stress Monster. And I've already opened the, the crates that I got and, and the loot and that sort of stuff. And I managed to pull a trinket. <laughs> in one of the completion crates and i wasn't recording it i i got really sad so here is an emulation of how it felt Ooh, trinket Woohoo! <laughs> yeah but let, let's identify it let's see what we get i kind of want a red trinket at this point in time oh that is a red trinket that's a crystal ball this doubles my mana oh that's actually yeah, that's actually going to be super helpful. Another big pull I did was these here leggings, which are definitely an upgrade. Let's actually see with my full gear on. I got 61% defense and, well, they <laughs> increase it with 1%, but they do give me 30 mana. And now with the crystal ball, that nets me, or that ends me at 260 mana, which is significant. Let's feed Sir Scrapalot with my old leggings. See if this works. Yep. Oh, no. I Did I miss? Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> I didn't connect the helper. Here we go. This is all that remains for my leggings. <laughs> One piece of scrap. Do I have... Oh, I don't have a sword. Do I have any vault swords down here, perhaps? Yes, I do have this. Low-level sword. Okay, this will do. I have put down these pedestals, and I put one of my focuses, a book on it, and then I'm going to put a sword like that. Look at that. That's, that's looking really cool. I like that. Oh, and now that I have the transmogrification table, I'm going to change my hat. Maybe I'll be a torch man for a while. <laughs> oh no, it sits wrong on my face. <laughs> I think it's the chest plate. Hold on. Yeah, if I turn the chest plate into the torch chest plate, this is when it looks funny. <laughs> I'm just a giant torch. <laughs> it's me now for a while. <laughs> Tor torch Gal 85. I'm a resilient torch. Stupid rain. The time has finally come to get a computer. <laughs> this helmet just sits wrong, doesn't it? This is just my eyes are too far down. I've got 12 knowledge stars and I want to get a computer from refined storage. Now this costs four to unlock and I'm also going to need to power it, which I can do using either iron generators or power. Now I'm going to be a bit smart about this. You see, both of these mods adds rewards to mod boxes and I currently have 13. 13 mod boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get five times wiser and invest into power first. And now I unlock the power helmet, the power chest plate and the power leggings. I think this is the one that makes me look like I'm going into some... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this one is scary. Very scary. <laughs> I'll go back to my torch. Now the reason I want to unlock power first is because I'm hoping that I can pull a big energy source block with one of these mod boxes and as such not have to craft much things from power. Let's see. Oh, what is that? 
Is that a thermal generator? That is a thermal generator. Oh, that's actually... <laughs> that's... That's actually going to be good enough. This generates 60 RF per tick or 60 FE per tick. And I think a, a beginning computer system is not going to drain much at all. And this only needs like lava and water, I think. Let's open a few more. That might be what I need. Is that another one of the same? Is that the exact same? That is the exact same. <laughs> one more. Ooh, what is this? This is a furniture. Oh, this is like a furnace. Yeah, I put coal in here, I believe. Like this, and then it turns the coal into energy. Yeah, and then I can use that energy to power. Okay, that's not optimal. One more. Oh, I don't want the storage upgrade. Oh, I know that the orange means that it's good. That's a hardened thermal generator. So it's generating 100, 100 power per tick. That's definitely more than I need. But again... I don't know how I'm gonna get water in it. I would have to like... Oh no, I do know. I do know. I do know how to do that. I've played this game before. I forget. Okay, uh, that means that I can become four times as wise and then I can unlock refined storage. Wow, wow, wow. I have got access to computers. Now that I have both mods unlocked, let's open the rest of the mod boxes. That's an upgrade. Another upgrade. That's an uh, upgrade for the computer. Oh, that's a solar panel. Is it a good one? It's a blazing solar panel. Okay. Okay, that's incredible. These are, look at this recipe. They are very, quite complex to make. And it generates 200 power per tick as long as it's under the sun. Which is, <laughs> that's so free. I might run my entire computer system off of this one solar panel. Okay. Let's the rest of the four. Another upgrade. Uh, another upgrade. Another upgrade. Come on, something good. Oh, that's a storage disk. Yeah, that's a storage. As smallest, smallest they get, but still a storage disk. I love mod boxes. Mod boxes are great. Mod boxes are fantastic. Okay, so let me think about this. I'm gonna need to craft up a bunch of different things I need, like the controller, the disk drive, storage parts, bigger storage parts, massive storage parts, a grid. And the Echo Pog. Yes, Rich Gull. A crafting grid. Some cables. Finally, an external storage. Whew. That was a lot of crafting. Crafting refined storage stuff is a little bit tedious, but it's done. And with this, I should be able to set up my first computer. Which, for now, is going to live right here in the center. Because... I want to use this one solar panel to power it. <laughs> it means that it's only going to work during daytime. But I need to really think about how to install this because you gotta you gotta pull these cables around and like connect things up together. That's the computer part right there. And we're gonna have a disk drive where we put our mega disks in, and then I'm gonna connect my external storage to this thing, which makes it read my entire system. Let's see if I can get underneath. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I did it. This thing, the only important thing here is that the priority of that is higher than anything else. So that the system or the computer, whenever I put something in here, it tries to put it here first. And then if it can't, it's going to put it in on the on the storage disks. So now I pull a cable. As I say, this is going to have to move very soon because I'm going to get really annoyed at this cable. Because <laughs> someone decided to have glass as their floor. But I should be able to see everything now. Yes, look at that. That's all of my stuff in my drawers. It's beautiful. Computers are great. Now, can I do this? Yes, cover. And then can I put these covers on top here? Oh, I can. Yes, perfect. Can't put it here, though, because... Uh... <laughs> because cable. Okay, well, I'll, I'll have to deal with this. <laughs> this looks absolutely awful. But... I can now, in theory, pack everything down in my computer. But before I do that, I want to see if I can make some compacting drawers. The reason I haven't done this is because I knew that they were very, very expensive. But I still have some resources left. I mean, don't get me wrong. We are going through Plunder Beast's belly very quickly. <laughs> compacting drawers. And how many can I make here? Six more? That's so much resources. So much labor. I think I'm going to do more... Compacting drawers are fantastic. They save so much space. That's 16. And stick them up. And let's see. The first thing I'm going to compact is this drawer here. Means that I'm going to need one of these to be a purple terracotta one. I think I can just take this out. 
and then put the compacting in. Oh no, why does it have a different tone? Is this, is this not purple terracotta? That's, it must be something else. Oh, I think it's magenta terracotta. Okay, no problem. Now that looks better. And then if I take some bronze out and put it in here, yes, it's gonna auto compact all of these. And so now if we look at the computer, it's going to merge it. So I have 11,200 bronze and that equates to 138 gold. So if I take this out, my bronze is going to be affected. Yeah, look at that. Now it's 6,000. I put the gold in and boom, my bronze goes up. It's because it's compacting or compressing in the, in the drawer. Ideally, I want to have this for every single thing that can be compacted, but I'm limited by 15 of these. So I'm going to get to the things that I deem most important. And I think I'm going to replace my son with <laughs> replace my son i mean as in the as in the rising sun with compact indoors larimar benetite black opal painite redstone knowledge shards driftwood which i have a lot of driftwood <laughs> i have a ton of driftwood almost forgot the most important one and that is this nice black rain of carbon. I still have some of these compacting drawers remaining and there's certainly things that I can compact but I think this is a good start so I'm gonna store these away for a later time and then the solar panel is doing fantastic. I mean I did sleep but it also has some buffer storage. That was such a lucky pull from the mod boxes but now what I think I'm ready to do and this is always a big moment is I think I'm ready to just dump all my stuff in here and anything that can go in my drawer wall will go in my drawer wall anything else will go on these storage discs so right now 85 items has gone into this disc yeah let's do this let's uh this is a big moment for any uh, gamer when you get to <laughs> put things into your computer oh i have gear in here ah gear should not go in the computer is gear should go in sir scrap lots the seconds belly <laughs> bye Hopefully there's nothing uh, good in there. As I was saying, m huge moment, massive moment when you get to do this. I've done it. I've cleaned up all of my chests, except for this. This is my scav junk that needs to go in the, in the soul diffuser. But, oh my, look at this. The computer is hosting all of my different things. And I barely made a dent. 6,087 items out of my 32,000 capacity. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I'm really happy about this. All right, maybe maybe not the cable. <laughs> the cable is a little bit awful, but we'll have to deal with that in the next episode. I got a little bit of a plan. Because we are out of video time, there's only one thing remaining to do in this episode, and that is to name our brick hammer. And there was so many good suggestions for what to name it, but I thought the funniest one that was suggested by multiple people was simply MC Hammer. That's what it's gonna be. Our MC Hammer. There were so many that I loved, like Sir Brick, Brick a lot, Bruce, Thor, World Eater, etc. 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 But I like MC Hammer. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, because of subscribing, and I will see you in the next episode. Hello, Etho. <laughs> why, why are you in my house to uh, spirits? What are you doing here? This is my place. What are you talking about? Oh, I see how it is. This is Etho Pacifica. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, I've heard mm -hmm. about that place. I like your outfit, minus your helmet. The helmet is not the greatest. Of yeah. Oh, have... okay. So you pay and you can choose which one you want. Yep. Oh, that wither head one looks really cool. No, that's the one you have at the moment. That's not good. <laughs> oh, you're trolling. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do one of mine. What's your uh, What's your favorite color? Pink? Green. What? That's my favorite color. I know. You always steal it from me. <laughs> How, what do you mean I always steal it? I haven't stolen <laughs> like in it team games and stuff. I don't know about this. I think the pink is better for you. Oh, come on! on. What is this garbage? It's your hat. <laughs> Look at you. You look great. <laughs> you Thank look, you, Eskel. You look so sophisticated, man. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I gotta leave before you give me a skirt. <laughs> there are skirts, actually. I'm sure there are. <laughs> All right, see you later, Thank man. Thank you, Eskel. See <laughs> Bye -bye. you.